The depths of the ocean are seemingly as mysterious as the vastness of space. We've been actively exploring our planet for generations, yet we know so little of what goes on in the seas and oceans. As proof, we have these 10 creatures who continue to be hard to catch or simply leave us with more questions than answers. You know what's easy to catch? The red subscriber fish. Try catching it, and don't forget to activate the notifications either. Goblin shark. We love sharks. Movies have shown us they are strong enough to sink a boat, and cable TV has proven that they are faster than Michael Phelps. No wonder there are tornadoes and entire weeks of programming dedicated to these toothy sea dwellers. Yet in reality, there is still so much we don't know about them. Sure, there's the great white and the hammerhead varieties, but what about the rest? Take the goblin shark, for example. So incredibly hideous, this sci-fi looking shark spends its time away from humans and is a rare sight for fishermen. In fact, we only really ever get to see one when it gets caught in a net by accident. So, what do we know? Well, these terrifying looking guys can get to about 20 feet in length. When they eat their prey, their mouth shoots forward just like the creature from Alien. Likely self-conscious of their looks, that explains why they tend to live at depths of around 300 feet. That's good news for us because it means humans are likely never going to be attacked by this rather terrifying and large creature of the deep. Atlantic Wolffish well, with a name like that, you know this ocean dweller is either going to look scary or be pretty big. Actually, it's both. As an added bonus, a lot of people have likely never heard of the Atlantic wolffish. That may be because it's also called an ocean catfish, a devilfish, a wolf eel, a sea cat, and a few other names. With so many names, it's amazing this thing doesn't have an identity crisis. For a non-shark or whale, the wolffish can get up to a pretty decent size of 5 feet in length. Most knowledge about these guys is limited because they tend to stick to the bottom of the ocean where they live among the rocks. And with a face like that, we think it's easy to understand why they stay out of sight. One thing we do know about this fish is that it produces its own antifreeze, which is a must-have considering the waters it likes to live in get incredibly cold. It also enjoys eating crab and sea urchins, which probably explains why it needs those monster-like teeth. S. Gigantia Looking for inspiration for the sea monster in that novel you're writing? Look no further than Stygio Medusa Gigantia. Lurking deep down in the sea, this huge jellyfish likes to live at least 3,000 feet down, and often deeper than that. We've known about its existence for 110 years, but only 115 reported sightings have ever been made. That's just one per year, which isn't a lot at all. So, what have humans been able to gather from these limited sightings? Well, the S. Gigantia can get really big. Its bell has been known to get upwards of 5 feet in diameter, and its arms are said to be around 20 feet long. Oh, that's right. We said arms, because according to the ocean experts, this jellyfish doesn't sport your usual stinging tentacles. It's believed that it uses these long arms to grab onto prey, which we can only conclude includes swimmers and sailors who get washed overboard. Okay, so that part we made up, and there are no records of this thing attacking people. We're pretty sure it prefers plankton and other small sea creatures to snack on. Colossal Squid we wanted to include an entry about the Kraken, but our bosses said that we had to stick to actual big sea creatures. So while we won't be releasing the Kraken this round, we will be looking at another large and non-mythical squid, the Colossal Squid. Just to show you how little we know about this large ocean dweller, researchers say the Colossal Squid is believed to be the biggest squid by mass. The fact is, we just aren't sure because squids this big tend to stay deep in the water. Perhaps more disturbingly, the examples which have been caught or seen are generally believed to be juveniles. That said, the juveniles can get pretty darn big. Including tentacles, this thing can get well over 40 feet long and in the neighborhood of three quarters of a ton in weight. Unlike the giant squid, which has suckers on its tentacles, the colossal variety has the added terrifying feature of looks, which it no doubt uses to grab unsuspecting boats. We'd say we were kidding, but up until 2003, there were reports of yachts, schooners, and naval vessels being attacked by large squids. Who needs a kraken when you've got a colossal squid? Massive sponge. You're probably wondering what the heck we're talking about. After all, aren't sponges those things you use to clean up messes and wash your car? Well, yes, but we're talking about the sea creature, also known as the sponge. These sea dwellers don't have digestive or circulatory systems. Instead, they just chill out on the rocks and let the water flowing near them bring food and carry away waste. Sea sponge? Sounds more like sea couch potato to us. In any event, up until recently, humans thought they understood these simple creatures pretty well. The smallest was around an inch long, while the usual large sponges 
as root as six feet in length. Then researchers near Hawaii found a game changer. The sponge they saw on their cameras measured 12 feet by seven feet, roughly the same size as a minivan. It is also believed this is the first time the organism had ever been seen by people because it was also located over a mile under the surface. Incredibly, given its size, experts think this may be the oldest living animal on Earth, potentially being a thousand years old. That means this sponge could have just started out its life around the same time the first Norsemen arrived on the shores of North America. Damn, that's old. While we have you exploring the depths, it only makes sense to ask you a quick quiz. The blue whale is the largest animal in the ocean, which we know of. Do you know how long the biggest blue whale ever recorded was? We'll tell you after a few more mysterious and large underwater creatures. Mega Mouth Shark we couldn't resist adding just one more shark to this video. After all, we think we know so much about them, but we really don't. Take the Megamouth shark as a perfect example of this. Humans only first discovered this variety of shark in 1976, which in the grand scheme of things is not so long at all. Since then, only a few dozen have ever been caught, and you can count the number of times one has been captured on video using one hand. So why do we know so little? Well, the Megamouth doesn't seem to like light. During the day, researchers say it swims at around 500 feet down. Once the sun goes down, this shark comes up to above 100 feet. Growing up to 17 feet in length and weighing upwards of a ton, humans have nothing to worry about because this guy isn't anything like a great white. Megamouth spends its day swimming slowly around and eating all the little fish and plankton that it can get. As a result, it doesn't have, nor need, large, sharp teeth. Japanese Spider Crab Okay, we'll just say it. This sea creature looks like the kind of thing that would attack astronauts on an exploration mission or maybe be seen squaring off against Godzilla. Yes, it's the Japanese spider crab, and this thing can get pretty big. Located in the waters around Japan, people from the rest of the world aren't very familiar with this. First off, let's just say this makes the crab you are used to seeing look totally pathetic. That's because the Japanese spider crab is known to grow so big it measures 18 feet from claw to claw. The body itself can easily surpass a foot in size. We assume when it's not attacking Japanese cities with its monstrous claws and death rays, this massive arthropod can be found under the sea at depths of 500 to 1,000 feet. It can also be found on the plates of hungry diners because this crab is also considered a delicacy. Interestingly, the Japanese spider crab will grab items off the ocean floor to cover its shell as a form of camouflage. It has to do this because, despite being so enormous, it is preyed upon by big predators like octopi. Or fish. Rarely seen alive, the internet is filled with images of these strange fish after they have washed up on shore. It's called the oar fish, and if we're being honest, it looks like an oversized sardine. Incredibly, while finding an 18-foot specimen washed up on shore might sound shocking, experts say the biggest one ever was around 36 feet long. The reason we rarely see them alive in the wild is that they stick around depths of 3,000 feet. Reportedly, only when they are sick or when storms have disturbed them do they come to shallower depths where they almost always expire soon after. Along with its big size, the oar fish also stands out by the way it moves around in the water. You might think it whips its tail from side to side like any regular fish. Just keep in mind, this is no regular fish. Instead, this deep sea dweller propels itself through the water by keeping its body straight and using its dorsal fins. In some cultures, finding an oarfish washed up on shore is a bad omen. It means that a storm or earthquake is just about to hit. Conger Eel Despite the fact that fishermen are known to catch them from time to time, we really don't know a lot about the conger eel or what they do during their lifespan. Now, if you're like us, then you've probably never even heard of a conger eel before. They come in a variety of examples, and it is believed the general size that they grow up to is about 10 feet in length. A couple years ago, however, a British fisherman caught an example that was 20 feet long and weighed 130 pounds. Now, we've joked about other large creatures in this video attacking humans, eating fishermen, and sinking ships. Unfortunately, we can't really joke about that with the conger. That's because while it isn't known to go out of its way to attack humans, a few years ago, a diver off the coast of Ireland had a run-in. The conger, in this instance, bit the man's face before swimming off. The other strange thing about these eels happens when the females get older. At around 10 years of age, their reproductive organs swell, their skeletons dissolve, and their teeth fall out. After that, they swim out into the Atlantic, where they mate and pass away. Their offspring then swim all the way back to where their mother's journey started. Giant Fire Cell Unless you belong to a researcher diving group who scours the southern oceans, then we're pretty sure you've never seen this giant worm-like creature that some dub the unicorn of the sea. With a long scientific name that we won't bother you with, these massive worms are also known as pyrosomes, or salps. In fact, they are made up of thousands of smaller organisms which all work together to live and move through the ocean. Rare to begin with, it's known that these strange-looking creatures can end up growing to 100 feet in length. Now, if we saw a 100-foot luminescent worm like 
thing swimming towards us, we'd run, and we would probably never go back in the ocean. That said, researchers say they are harmless and feed on plankton as they propel themselves by pumping water through them like a jet. Now, while hollow inside, experts say you shouldn't ever try to swim through a salp or pyrosome. This advice seems pretty smart considering one pyrosome was allegedly found with a whole penguin stuck inside of it. No, the sea worm hadn't eaten the penguin, and researchers are pretty sure it was all just a bad coincidence for that poor bird. Yikes. So, do you know the recorded length of the biggest blue whale ever measured? The answer, 111 feet. That's almost the same length as three school buses parked end to end. Thank goodness, they're usually friendly and pretty harmless, otherwise we would never go back in the water. Okay, we're back up to the surface and our ocean exploration is done for the day. Thanks for traveling under the waves with us aboard the USS The Richest. If you're still not done exploring, feel free to check out our other deep sea specials. From strange finds to more big creatures, we've got something for every taste. Just be sure to hit that red subscribe button so if you go missing, we know where to send the search party. We'll see you around. Bye-bye for now.